Good morning to everyone. Today, in this video tutorial, we will show you how the software TPA Beam Board for Sectioning Machines works. We start by loading a list from a CSV file that we previously saved on our computer. As you can see in the upper part there is the material warehouse where we can enter the real situation of our stocks, characterizing the various materials by code, dimensions, quantity and trimming information. In the central part we have instead the list of panels to be cut, which we can characterize by code, dimensions, description, quantity, position and thickness of the edge. Now we are going to optimize the list with the Ardis optimizer. Then we open the list of optimized panels from the folder in which they are normally saved. As you can see the optimization has created three different cutting patterns. The first one has been repeated two times, the second one five times and the third one just once. Now we are going to simulate the work of the machine with the 3D simulator. The simulator helps the operator by illustrating all the cuts that the machine will perform and then how to load the pieces into the machine. First the machine performs all the cuts of X type, after those of Y type and all the undercuts that lead to obtaining the single pieces. As you can see it is possible to pause the execution and then resume work when you are ready. The software will ask whether to resume from the point where it was interrupted in a message box. As in this case, when possible, the software allows us to cut several panels simultaneously. Now we show you instead how to make the machine work by placing the cuts with the graphic editor in the positions we want, not using the cutting optimizer. First, we need to click on the editor icon on the ribbon menu. In the first line, we can decide to make single cuts or a group of cuts, then we go on to repeat and call them rip cut, in this case we select this mode. Now, line by line, in a very intuitive way we are going to position the different types of cut in the positions we want. At the end of our placement we turn back to the first line, and choose to repeat the cutting pattern made, for three times. Once the pattern has been cut, it is possible to act on the table generated by the software automatically. The software lists the pieces obtained by performing the cuts, going to attribute to each piece a description, the material, and the information regarding the edging. As you can see, this series of information will all be summarized in the labels being generated automatically for each panel. Now we are going to save our cutting pattern on the PC. I hope this video could have been helpful, I invite you to search within our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page where you can find other video tutorials of the TPA software or our other applications.